Hello, and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on May 27, 2021. Tom, we are 14 months in since COVID began. What have you learned? Well, I've learned some things and I've been reminded of some things. I think that what I've learned is the resiliency of people, the economy, of even stock markets where I work. Uh, they've been able to soldier on through this period of time. However, we are past the outer limits of what is tolerable. Um, the, the, the other thing that was amazing to me is quite interesting is that young people are having a major, major problem. Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto have been pointing out that there are massive increases in emotional problems with children these days, and children being any young people. We, we tend to forget how social they are. For example, I grew up on Windermere Avenue. There were lots of kids on the street and lots of people to play with, which, which was good. But if you behaved improperly or you were being difficult, kids wouldn't play with you. So you refined your behaviors uh, with people. You actually matured in that process of contact. Uh, these young people are not having that. And studying in schools, a lot of university students are having very, very big problems. And, and indeed, there have, been, there have been even suicides in this exercise. So that's the thing that was quite surprising, the need. We always talk about we, we need to be social. We are social beings. But you're starting to see the real impact of that. Uh, somebody once said, we're sacrificing the young people for the old people these days. Uh, the thing that was a reminder was governments. Uh, governments can be mediocre to poor in average times. You're not going to notice. The world will roll on. Uh, they're not the, the center. They're not the star of the show, although they do try to be. But the caliber of government is terribly important in crisis periods, whether it be wars, famine, pestilence, or what we're going through now. And you know the responses have been generally speaking, subpar. Now, it's easy to criticize, because this was a whole new game. But sooner or later, they've got to recognize that we're at a different stage, and they've got to take a different approach. I think it was Albert Einstein who said uh, insanity is doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result. 14-month lockdown, far too much. It's now having structural damage, emotional damage, personal damage. So it was, there was a learning experience, but also a reminder experience. So we've been living in a bubble, 14, 14 month lockdown. So let's talk about market bubbles. Well, it's interesting. I was uh, chatting the other day. I said, where are the bubble people? Uh, and everybody sort of looked at me. But if you, know, if you listen to the media, the financial media uh, over the last year, oh, it's a bubble. There's a bubble going, a bubble in housing prices, a bubble in stock prices. Everybody taught, the bubble people, I call them. But in actual fact, what has happened is we have very, very low interest rates. I, I've been harking on this for quite a while. But the low interest rates drive up the price of stuff. Uh, people are worried about governments in terms of the responsibility, the debts they're accumulating, uh, trying to get through this COVID period of time. So what they're doing is getting out of money and getting into stuff, whether it be a house, whether it be stocks, whether it be art, whether it be wine collections. So people are cashing out of money to some degree uh, in trying to protect themselves and getting to real assets. Uh, and of course, with interest rates very low, you can buy a house with a million dollar mortgage, which won't cost you much more than renting a nice apartment. So that, in fact, is driving housing prices to some degree. Interest rates are the key. But remember, bubbles, fine, you can have bubbles short term, but it's a trend. Markets trade in trends, and the trends go on generally a lot longer than we think they're going to. We, we, in the investment industry, we push everything to its illogical conclusion. So I think low interest rates, the trend is still there. There's an old trader's adage, trade the trend, go with the trend, don't try to go against the trend, and don't try to pick a turning point of the trend. Just trade the trend. It's still there. The thing you have to watch is interest rates, inflation, whether that's going to cap that. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.